Okay, we're going to add our third melody section. So tap the plus sign in the top right and add section C. And again, section C is going to be one bar long. So we'll select that and scroll down to one bar. Okay. Now for this one, your third finger, your middle finger is going to start on the E just along from C3. So you've got C3, D, and then that E there. We're going to do finger three and then finger five, your pinky, E, G, E. Okay. Then when you're ready, you can add the C3 with your finger two. Okay, and the last two notes are A down at the left hand side of the keyboard with your thumb and then F. That's a big jump from the A to the F. Okay, so it goes E, G, E, C, A, F. Okay, we'll try that with the click track now. So practice that as many times as you need to and then make sure that your slider is at the start of the section by pressing return before you record. And again, you're going to come in straight after your counting of four. Here we go. E, G, E, C, A, F. Okay, remember you can re-record as many times as you need to. Now let's go on and add our last section. So click to add a section and section D is going to be two bars. So tap on section D, scroll down to two bars. Okay, so section D, if you look on your melody sheet, looks the same as section B at the beginning. but we just add on the Adams family, F, E, C, D, E, F. Okay, on the end. So we're doing third finger on A and then pinky on C4. Exactly the same as we did in section B, but then we have to move down ring finger number four on the F So the whole section goes Okay, and I'll just demonstrate recording that once you've practiced it and you're ready You'll come straight in after four two three four So we've done our whole melody, let's go up to the section, the plus sign that gives us the section menu and select all sections and then if you tap back to the beginning you can have a listen to your melody so far.
There we go. Well done.